Good afternoon, YouTube. I, uh, I mentioned in the last video that I was getting these gloves in the mail. And I had tried these before, and they malfunctioned. I sent them back, so the company kindly saw my review on Amazon and offered to send me a complimentary pair to make it up to me. So, very cool, good of them. So I just received them today, and these are those. So let's unpack them, and uh, then I will uh, test them out. So these are made by a company called Winna. They have a 7.4, I think it is, volt battery, similar to most heated gloves. User manual, good, well-written instructions. Recharger. These are the gloves. Come in a, in a case. So these are them. Let's have a good look in the light. There's your controls. On off. Press and hold for three seconds or so and minus temperature plus temperature and battery uh, life indicator some protection some leather some uh, let's see on the thumb a visor wipe very nice leather palms they fit good these are extra large and there's your pocket for the battery one battery, two batteries. So there's your batteries. So let's plug the batteries in. And there we go. Red light comes on, and I imagine when they're done, green light will come on. The heating element in these is uh, carbon, carbon fiber cloth something like that. So the, uh, I think that's the better way. You know, I noticed some Gerbering gloves use wire elements and some people have a problem where on the back of their hand, you know, they'll get burns from the wires. This would be a much better idea. I think most gloves nowadays have the carbon fiber cloth as the heating element. And these, they go on the back of the hand and then up either side of the fingers like that so your fingers are heated too which is really important for me because that's where I suffer the tips of my fingers anyway we'll try them out okay so here we are on the ride portion gloves on I've been riding for about I'd say 20 minutes something like that so I won't comment on the heating yet we'll ride a little longer but I can uh, I can tell you about the fit uh, the gloves are very comfortable while you're riding you know it's got that nice uh, flexible leather on the on the palms so you get a good feel on your throttle I, I noticed though that the gauntlet can you see is is a little tight so you know getting it over a winter riding jacket with a uh, sweater a couple layers beneath was a bit of a bit of a struggle I managed but uh, it's you know not the easiest thing in the world to do especially the second glove uh, the other thing I could say is the strap to uh, cinch it down at the wrist could be a little longer because once you're pulling it over your uh, your your coat, that strap wants to come out of its uh, out of its buckle, and then it's hard to get that back in because you've got at least one glove on at the time. So those are so far the only two downsides I would say if they made the gauntlet a little bit wider and the strap a little bit longer that would help 
did I mention the temperature? It's about uh, it's about two degrees, two and a half degrees centigrade. So it's definitely a cool day. So we should talk about the price of these gloves. They uh, seem to vary in price. When I first uh, ordered them, they were $119 Canadian from Amazon.ca. Then when I next looked, they were uh, $149 Canadian. When I last looked, which was yesterday or the day before, they were $99 Canadian. Prior to that, I only checked Amazon.com once and they were $120 USD. If you're thinking of getting these gloves, maybe try and get in on one of those sales. And I guess right now would be a good time. We're coming back into town now and I've, I've been riding for about 45 minutes and uh, my hands are fine. They're feeling just just perfect, fairly warm. So yeah, I think perfectly satisfied with these gloves at two and a half degrees. Now, what'll they be like at uh, below freezing? I, I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't really want to ride below freezing and probably neither do most of you. I think for the riding most of us want to do in the winter, uh, these, are, these are fine, these are good. The temperature control, if I didn't mention it, I can't recall before, but it is incrementally adjustable. So you can adjust the temperature by one degree at a time. Maybe I can show you here. So there's the button, can you see it? So I just turned it down two degrees. We are back and it's been about an hour and a half. Fingers are, are pretty good. The tips of a couple of the fingers here and there are starting to get just a little cool. But an hour and a half at two and a half degrees C, I'd say that's pretty good uh, temperature. I have this one, uh, I cut it down just a little while ago to 60. Uh, battery life is on one bar. This one here, battery life is on one bar as well, because I've had them up to almost max the, the whole time. So I imagine you'll get probably about two hours out of uh, max temperature and up to six hours out of a very, just a slate heat, something like that, or maybe four hours. So yeah, pretty satisfied with them all in all. That's the general impression. I would say barring any unforeseen circumstances, I would recommend these. So that's it. Take care. Ride safe.